you and John are partners. Mm -hmm. And I wonder how you navigate. You and John Mulaney did Oh Hello together. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're in similar positions, but like they're both very funny people. Mm -hmm. Dave and John are both very, very funny people. Mm. I mean, look. <laughs> Um, are you which camera are you looking at? That one? I'm gonna look at this one. <laughs> Dave Chappelle you, and John Mulaney. Yes. Yeah, how do you, I just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how do you <laughs> that's who we're talking about? <laughs> um, I gotta say I'm not very competitive with Dave comedically. I'm competitive with him ideologically. Mm -hmm. How do you navigate your relationship with John? Well, when John left for Africa after Oh Hello, that's the name of the rehab you went to? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Mulaney I, told me that you said, Mulaney's not, you said, uh, because Curl one time was on a podcast and he said, Mulaney's not a drug addict. He's more a suicidal alcoholic. <laughs> I said that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would never say that. <laughs> you I would said say, it and he heard it and told me. I would never say suicidal alcoholic. Those, okay. those were never the issues. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but what um, did you find? By the way, if you want to hear about John and how, you know, how I talk to him, you can listen to his uh, stand-up act oh. to find out how oh. uh, John well, felt what, about yeah, my... Ladies and gentlemen, you can't wait till he goes after Kroll for trying to save his life. <laughs> yeah. The mistake of trying to save his life. Yeah, yeah. Or the early, by the way, the early pre-edited versions of the uh, the hour <laughs> when it was the two-hour fresh out of rehab. Oh, I think version that's the only it. one I've heard. Oh yeah, Mulaney goes through in his new hour goes through his intervention, and he it's kind of a roast of everyone who saved his life, and it's uh, it's it's very funny. Unless you were unless there on the day, the <laughs> unless you were one of the people there, or one of the people who then had to listen to the act. Yep, it was Anyhow, very. But funny. you kid, you audience members, you have fun. You have a great time. Yeah, go uh, check out John on tour <laughs> John from scratch. Mulaney. From scratch. Um, I, I don't know if this is how your relationship with Dave is or was, but like you know, I I'm a few years older than John. He was a freshman when I was a senior. I I cast him in the improv group. Yeah, but I immediately knew he was a fucking genius. And we got along famously right away and have always gotten along both as friends and as comedic yeah. partners or collaborators. Yeah, I've never heard either of you shit on the other one in either um, Well, category. you should go watch his No, act. I'm gonna, I can't, <laughs> other go, than, go of watch course, the John's act. new, <laughs> yeah. that will be on Netflix very yeah. soon, yeah. I'm sure. Or watch, or rewatch what I just did about John yeah, two yeah, minutes yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I think, have tremendous respect for each other comedically and true and genuine like love for each other as as human beings as friends and frankly almost and this is where i'm getting to almost as brothers mm -hmm. and once you become like brothers or family things get a little trickier mm -hmm. it's not and i don't know how this was for you and dave but it's like it's different than just like another friend in common yeah like when you especially when you do something like you make a show together or you do like oh hello on broadway together like whatever it is it it brings you closer than just friendship. And all of a sudden you can start to treat each other more like family in which means in that the way. gloves are off yeah. in a little bit and, and the competition or whatever it is that you're feeling. I mean, I have always felt to be honest, competitive with John because I've never been in a room where anybody got bigger laughs than John. I've only been in like three rooms. No, but they, he crushed every time. Yeah. <laughs> but you, I mean, you know, yeah, you've I seen everyone, yes, you know, he's, yes. he is, the arguably, we're talking about Dave and John. Both in the top five, ten. Top tw 40 comedians. Whatever. Top, top, top 40 living, comedians. Vultures. comedians on the road right now. Yeah, top, top 40. 40. Vultures, top 40 <laughs> comedians of 2008. Um, doing dates on the East Coast yeah. this weekend. But, you know, I mean, it is like John is uncontro un, un, like, un, unrelentingly funny. Yes. And writes a perfect joke yep and delivered not only writes a perfect joke but is a delivers a joke yep. perfectly um and has a almost let's call it a photographic memory so can write a joke and then literally deliver i believe it. he does have a yeah and yeah. can like remember what he wrote perfectly on stage the next day whereas i am fumbling my way through something i improvised a week ago and hoping i can recatch yeah. whatever that was so i have feelings of competition with john but i also think like when we were doing oh hello that also made me be better every night and part of the joy Hello, of that I saw once was so fucking funny and has so many jokes in it that I still like are still with me and 
there were so many moments that were so impressive. You guys laying on the stage, <laughs> trying to make each other <laughs> laugh is like the night I saw it, I'm sure it was around as good that, or, you know, it was very good the mm -hmm. night I saw it. Actually, I, I believe I saw a matinee, but, <laughs> but I often wonder, do you worry, do, like overshadow, like I get overshadowed by Dave and it's like, it's not close. It's like he fucking plucked me out of obscurity mm -hmm. to work with him. And then I've slowly like built up a career of my own. Whereas you and John were like together and he's a fucking doing arenas. Mm -hmm. And not like you handle it well. You were, you seem genuinely proud of him. I am genuinely proud of him. And I think if you talk to him, there are elements to the career that I have that he would be like, oh man, he's been able to do this and this. Yeah. Like I, that he, it has not been. You've the, had three TV shows that you've been yeah, yeah, so I think like, but I think that. Successfully. There are those elements to when it when it's your friend or your brother or whatever, however you feel or, or think about that person that you can be, I, I can hold those things simultaneously. First and foremost, I have an incredible amount of pride uh, in in what he's accomplished and the fact that I'm like friends with him, that he's friends with me, that he considers me someone he wants to work with. All those things like bring me a lot of joy. Yeah. And, and uh, I'm proud of him and I'm proud to be associated with him. Yeah. And then there are times where I'm like, man, that fucking guy kills and he's playing arenas and uh, and also like man like steve martin thinks he's the funniest or whatever yeah. those things are and then also you know i think like uh, i have incredible amount of uh you know pride in what i've accomplished on my own you know and i think something that you might identify with too is like that feeling of like is anything i do on my own going to be as good as what we did mm -hmm. together yeah and I don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> Not, never been a problem. Never, 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 no, never, so I've never even thought of it. As yeah. <laughs> so I think there's that element to that, that you have to sort of take into account. And, but also like, I think about, Oh, hello specifically as like a pinnacle in like both of artistic and life, the crux of, of those things coming together. Yeah. Where it was like, we're on Broadway together every night. We are having incredible guests come and watch the show, come be on the show. And it started, you guys did a show. That's where we met yeah, 20 years ago 20, yeah. on the East Village place called Rafifi where you guys would do it. So that's also like part of the story. Yeah, it's like that's it starts really when we- That's really cute and it's, sweet. Yeah, it's like starts when we are we have nothing. Neither of us have anything going on. It was just the most fun thing it's that we thing could I'll do. It's a thing I'll mention the, at Rafifi, this is 2004. I did a, I was on the show- and I, Rashida Jones came with me mm -hmm. and we taught, we told stories. Mm -hmm. You and brought Rash your BET award. I brought, that's correct. I brought my BET <laughs> award. I don't remember why, but I did. I did. You were, you both brought things to talk about. Right, right, right. So I brought my BET award. I was bringing, I was carrying it everywhere at that point. <laughs> uh, my BET comedy award. Uh, they canceled it because a white man won three of them. Um, <laughs> let's be honest, BET. And uh, they didn't like it. No one's happy. No. Um, and, uh, or two of them. And I remember. Who's counting? Rashida brought a stuffed animal with a, a voice like a, a cassette tape message from Teddy Ruxman. Yeah. Or no, from who was the message from her from? dad from her dad. Yeah, that's right. And he, if I remember correctly, go ahead. But he said, it's Quincy Jones saying to Rashida, may you get all the angel pussy in the world. I believe he said, keep your dreams as high as giraffe pussy. <laughs> okay. I believe that's the exact <laughs> okay, quote. Sorry. Hey baby. Hey baby. Thank you. It's Quincy Jones. <laughs> uh, it's a horrible impression. Anyhow, Rashida mentioned that she was single. Afterward, you texted her something like, hey, you or you maybe asked her, like, would you want to go on a date? And the idea of Rashida dating you was so absurd. Uh -huh. It was like, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. And this is before she was on the office. It was just like a beautiful young woman. And you were, a, I consider a beautiful young man. <laughs> and it was absurd. So that's how much time has passed. Anyhow, <laughs> so you and Mulaney are doing... Rafi, you're doing basically Oh Hello uh -huh. at Rafifi uh -huh. 20 years ago. And then, so you do this tiny thing and then it's on Broadway every night. Yeah. Crushing for 2,000 people or whatever. So fun. And it was, and I really felt like this perfect symbiosis of like working with your friend, doing very silly shit, but in on Broadway. And it was like, what a life, what a lifestyle that was to like not be on the road, but be on stage every night yeah. for like, yeah, like 2,000 people 
for four or five months. Yeah. And it was the best. It was the most fun. And what's hard with friendship as time goes on and life changes is like, you're like, he's on the road, I'm on the road, he's got a kid, I've got, all you like, you all of a sudden, time gets away from you and space gets away from you and it's harder to just be physically in the same spaces. And men are not great at maintaining those relationships in a certain way. Would you agree I, I with that? I think everywhere. And part of the reason why I like doing this, because like now I don't have to see it for a couple of years. We're done. Knock this thing out. Fucking nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a fun time. It's you will never spend that much time with Mulaney again. Huh? I mean, I don't think so. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I have bad news. No, he told me. But he literally texted me on the way over here. Huh? I will never spend time with him like that again. And you can take that to the grave. He said, <laughs> um, no, but you know what I mean? Like yeah. I, that's the fun of doing a thing like it. Was well, and somebody. it makes you be like, how can I appreciate? And I did feel by the end of that run, I was like, this might be the best it gets. Like every, the, the, the combination of things around this moment in time might be, may, might make this the, the, like, and I, I was sort of aware of it near the end. And that's the nice thing about your going back to the beginning of like, the older you get, the more perspective you have on things. So that like, you know, when you have a show when you're 23 or you're in a good relationship when you're 25 or whatever, you don't know, you don't have enough life experience to know that this is as good as it gets. Yeah. Except when you're watching the movie as good as it gets. And then, you know, it's as good as it gets. Well, because it's in the title. It's as good as it gets <laughs> watching Jack Nicholson handle bacon out of a plastic bag. Somebody's pretty well-versed in as right? good as it gets. Yeah. And I would like to say that I am... My competitiveness with Dick, because I shouldn't say I'm not competitive comedically. He said I'm the most competitive person he's ever met. And I said, that's because you can't meet yourself. Um, <laughs> but I would want to get shit on because I wanted to contribute. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I didn't want to be dead weight. So if I was, I also wanted to impress him. That's the part of a partnership that I think no one is like, it, it's people aren't aware of it. It's like, you want to impress Mulaney. Yeah. He wants, if he makes you laugh, it's funny. If I make Dave Chappelle laugh, it's probably fucking pretty funny. Yeah, for sure. Or, or mean. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah. Did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.